What's going on, you guys? We're going. <laughs> What's going on you guys? We are back at you with another amazing product review. I am Crystal Sykes, the Lady Savage, and this is my husband, Robert Sykes. Ketosavage.com <laughs> Alright, so we really are going to do a product review. Did you say that you were going to do that? Yeah, so one okay. of the products we got was this Ketone Aid Ketone Ester, and I want to get like a ketone test at the beginning of this product review and at the end because I guarantee you it's going to jump just in a short period of time to do a product review. So while I'm getting this uh, test, you want to entertain our audience, Crystal? Yes, I want to entertain them. Do you want me to tell them about this? Sure. So this is Ketone Aid. Robert has had this before, right? You've had this one. Yeah. So performance enhancing drink. Um, and, oh, wow, there's two of them. Do you drink three. the whole thing? Oh. Um, and, okay, so let's go through the back of this. It's 144 calories, zero fat, 0.5 grams of carbs, zero protein, um, 30 grams of total ketones in here. 0.5, so I had just eaten not too long ago, so mine's a little lower right now. So 0.5 millimolar uh, at the beginning of this product review. Let me go ahead and test. And I guarantee, it says serving size to do uh, one capful um, one to three capfuls, depending on what you're trying to do. So I'll just do, I don't know, I'll do, I'll do three capfuls. I'm gonna go, go hard or go home. It does tell you exactly what to do. Um, it says more equals better. One capful equals to five. What is it? Milliliters? Wowzers! Spilled that all over me. Uh, Woo! That's gross. Pre or post workout is one to three capfuls. OMAD fasting is one to two capfuls. Mental clarity is one to three. Deep sleep is uh, one half to one cap. In advanced is dual flu, <laughs> dual flu, dual fuel with glucose, uh, best on an empty stomach, and no, I have to do it? Yeah. <laughs> I've never done this before, I'm nervous. It's gross. I've heard it's really gross, okay. hard to swallow it oh that was but frank weird. The, the founder of ketone is not going for flavor with this stuff this is like the very scary cherry flavor i'm pretty it's sure it's not even i mean it's really not that bad it's just kind of like like when you drink like a <clears throat> scotch or something it's like like fire almost yeah and, and anybody that's doing the keto diet like Whew. they should not make the mistake of just prioritizing their ketone numbers and chasing ketones i've never recommended them that's a slippery slope However, there's certain, there can be certain instances in which it may behoove you to have higher ketones and optimize for that. Um, so, if you are one of those people, knowing kind of what's out there from a supplemental standpoint that can raise your ketone levels may be worth your while. So. Okay, also, um, the reasons you might want to take this is for the reasons that I explained before. Um, it has water, BHB, ketone esters, oof. There is stevia and natural flavors in it, citric acid, uh, potassium sorbate, so on. So it does have stevia in there, so if you're sensitive to stevia, you may or may not want to take this. It's got allulose too, I think, doesn't it? That one doesn't. It doesn't? Yeah, it does. Where? Oh, sure does. It does have allulose. I'm sorry, I missed that. All right, we also got a <sighs> massive hookup it's from... It's hanging in there with the taste. From Primal Kitchen. Primal Kitchen sends us so much stuff. They're like amazing. They're um, amazing. Their packaging is totally beautiful. Yeah, and some of their stuff is not something that I would eat on a ketogenic diet. However, I don't think they're trying to specifically offer keto only options. They're no. simply trying to offer options that have cleaner ingredients, less processing, less sugars, and stuff like that. So, like the um, the honey glaze, the ham glaze, for yeah. instance. You know, it's got. Two grams of total fats, um, nine grams of total carbs, and one gram of protein. The ingredients are water, pineapple juice concentrate, organic coconut aminos, organic coconut syrup, cashew butter. So not something that I would really eat on a keto diet, but for someone that's going to honey glaze a ham, 
this is a much healthier option than what you're typically going to find in a grocery store. Yeah, and if like if you're trying to eat healthier and you're trying to get your family to go along with you, these are also a really great option. Um, but it does not mean, just because they're on here, does not mean that we will be eating them ourselves. Now this is an unsweetened pizza sauce made with avocado oil. So one thing that they do do in all their sauces and seasoning is they make the oil an avocado or olive oil base as opposed to a processed vegetable oil base, which is gonna be more inflammatory. So I am a fan of that. Like this has got three grams of fat, six grams of total carbs, and one gram of protein but it's like tomato is where the, the carbs are coming from. Uh, it's all super clean ingredients, so I would totally put this on like a fathead pizza. This is a, their hollandaise sauce, which is really exciting. Like Robert's dad really likes this hollandaise sauce. Isn't it on his like asparagus? Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know if you've ever read the ingredients on those packages, it's not good. But this one is a lot cleaner. It's made with, with majority cashew butter. Um, there are some things in it like tapioca starch and things like that, but for the most part, it's super stinking clean. How do you pronounce um, that? Ara uh, Arabiana? Arabiana? That was better than I could do. Anyways, this is another tomato base. You're going to get some carbs from that. The ketchup is the bomb.com. Oh I, I love, love the ketchup. ketchup. Zero grams of fat, two grams of carbs, zero grams of protein. Super clean ingredients. Like this stuff. So it's good. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, and this no dairy Ooh. pink primavera sauce. Um, it's got beets in there is the first thing oh. we need. So there's more sugar from the beets. But I don't really yeah. ever eat beets, so I probably wouldn't eat this. But it's 14 grams of carbs. Yeah. But we do love this company so much, and they do a really great job of providing a really clean source of things for people who are trying to better their health. All right. Fire Creek Snacks, boom, had boom. their chief marketer on my podcast. That podcast has not yet gone live, but it was a great conversation. They made this, this has been the family for like three generations. Like they've been uh, processors, pork processors for three generations. They started doing it all with like a smokehouse in their backyard. And they scaled up, started doing these meat sticks because they couldn't find any healthy meat sticks. The current owner has kids that have gluten intolerances. So they can't eat a lot of the stuff that's in a lot of the jerky that you get at a gas station, like Slim Jims and stuff. They have one that is a teriyaki base. It does have a little bit of sugar in there. They have a sweet one that has a little bit of sugar. But these, the original and the kicker, kicker are pretty clean. We've got beef and pork, sea salt. There is sugar in this one, um, but it's like super small amount of sugar. And it's all like from a natural processing standpoint um, to cure the meat. Citric acid, celery juice powder garlic powder, onion powder. Um, one of these sticks is 10 grams of fat, one gram of carb, and seven grams of protein for the original here. Let's try it. Everything is the same exact for this, the kicker one, um, except for the flavoring stuff, like the jalapeno. Oh, are we gonna open both of them? Yeah. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Yes, this is a winner. I need some more. Mm. That's really good and flavorful. It is. I like it. Like for just being an original? I tried the teriyaki ones too, but I like the ones that don't have any sweetness to them. Mm. Good. That one's really good too. That one's like a smoky almost. It gets a little spicier. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. It gets a little spicier as it keeps in. Um, I don't like a lot of those sick things. They always taste weird to me, but those like taste clean. They taste clean. All right, Elements. Y'all probably all heard of this brand, seen this brand, LMNT. Um, Rob Wolf and the Keto Gains group partnered up to make this. It's an electrolyte formula. Um, I had Rob Wolf on the podcast. I don't think that one's gone yet, live yet either, but that was a great conversation. This stuff is amazing, all right? The, I normally, with electrolytes, I normally use Redmond Relight brand because I like the ratio a little bit better than I like in this stuff. Red, Redmond Relight is a two to one ratio of sodium to potassium. It's got a thousand milligrams sodium, 500 milligrams potassium. This one is... Thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium. Yeah, 60 so milligrams of uh, magnesium. Less potassium than sodium by more than that half uh, percentage factor. So 
I like the ratio on the Relight more, but I'm not gonna lie, y'all. This, they, they have a bunch of flavors. They have like a orange salt to lemon lime, another one. Chocolate. And then this one is like their specialty flavor. They've got four, they've got lemon habanero, mango chili, and chocolate salt. I've been putting the chocolate salt in like yogurt and mixing that up just dry, but the, the lemon habanero and the mango chili are really freaking delicious. I have not tried them, and I really need to because I'm super picky about uh, electrolyte powders. Have you tried them yet, Chip? I have. You like them? They're really good. Pretty good? And uh, the chocolate one, the color yeah. is amazing. That's what's, and both, all of them actually, that, that, that means a lot. Yeah. That color makes a big difference. All and, and they also dissolve really good. I don't know if the Relight doesn't dissolve as well because there is more potassium in there, but these dissolve really good and the flavor is hard to beat. So like, I'm a connoisseur of electrolyte powders. <laughs> True. And I like the Redmond Relight more from an electrolyte ratio standpoint, but these guys have got the flavor profile nailed down. Well, let's read some of these things that they have on the top. No sugar, no gluten, no dodgy ingredients. It literally says that, that's hilarious. Uh, vegan friendly and paleo and keto friendly. Yeah. So that's nice. Pretty good. All right, next one on the list, carnivore snacks. Carnivore snacks, I've also had Sylvia, the founder of this one on the podcast, and she's coming back on the podcast. I've had everybody on the podcast, it seems. Mm -hmm. uh, these things are amazing. I haven't tried this one yet. The lamb sliders, mm -hmm. super clean ingredients, grass-fed and finished lamb, regeneratively raised, and Redmond Real Salt. Now- I love anything with Redmond Real Salt in it. Yeah, the macros on this are, uh, five servings, 180 calories, 10 grams of total fat, zero carbs, and 22 grams of protein. And this is lamb, which Crystal is normally not a fan of. True. I had, uh, she shipped us some beef sliders, which- Those were so good. <clears throat> they didn't last long. And she shipped us some pork, pork loin. And those lasted so long that I didn't get to try them. Yeah, the, the pork loin, I haven't had these yet, but the pork loin is probably my favorite dehydrated food of all time. It's amazing. Um, and they're doing these like sliders now, so like little bitty circles. I like it. That are kind of cool. It smells good. Usually lamb gets me with the smell. I like it. Pretty good? That's good. This is the only way I'll eat lamb. You don't even like lamb. No. So the fact that you like that is saying something. Yeah. I love There's lamb. There's like the perfect amount of salt on every single one of these. Yeah. Like it's literally like meat candy. So good. If I was to describe carnivore snacks, it's meat candy. Like it's perfect. Two ingredients, lamb and salt. All right, um, I'm gonna test myself again here. Did we tell them the macros? I did. Yeah. Spaced out. Wow, these are so good. So good, so good. You think it's gone up any? How long has it been, Chip, how long? Left, uh, 12 minutes. 12 minutes. We'll see what happens in 12 minutes. Six, five, four, three, two, one. 2.5. Whoa. So it went from 0.5 to 2.5 in 12 minutes with three capfuls Hasn't it gotten up to like stuff. six before with that? Yeah, if I, if I've done a lot before and it's gotten up to, I don't know if I've ever gotten as high as six, mm. but it's gotten pretty high. Yeah. And okay. again, we're not advocating people chase their ketones, but there are definitely some therapeutic benefits to higher ketones depending on who you are, what you're trying to do, what, what the goal is, so. These are my favorite. You like them? I like these a lot. Yeah, and she really does not like lamb, so the fact that she's actually going back for seconds says a lot. Also, I really like that these are not single serve. Like the other like some of the other ones that we've had, they're like so small you can eat the whole thing in one sitting, and this actually has a decent amount of food in it. It's five servings and I can still eat the whole thing in one sitting. Mm, that's true, but <laughs> they're good. They're really good. I like the sliders. Yeah. Alright, that concludes this video let us know in the comments of these items which one you would like to try we're going to try and mix up the youtube a little bit so if there's something that y'all want to see in the youtube definitely let us know in the comments as well 
But with the giveaways, like we we get so much of this stuff. I'm well, trying to think should... of like some way to like give back to y'all. So like anybody that comments on something, oh, like we okay. randomly pick a winner and then give them a bunch of the items. We should do that on really every know. giveaway. We should do that on every. We're giveaway. gonna announce that soon of what we're actually gonna do. This was Chip's idea. Really, so, was it? It's yeah. a great idea. Like I really like that. Yeah. People love free stuff, and we love giving. Yeah. So. Check it out. Let us know in the comments what you like, what you would want to be interested in. We'll figure out how to randomly select somebody. We're still working on the details on that, but that's probably what we're going to do with the giveaways or with the um, product reviews going forward. So, until next time, take care. Top five for now. See you later. See ya. Adios.